Okay. First yeah. stuff, you're going to grab a towel, the pads, the Ionto machine, so that you can do Ionto and check the machine for any abnormalities, such as the wires are frayed or broken. Um, make sure that there's a battery, the screen's not broken, and everything's turning on correctly. Uh, you're going to verify that you're working on the patient, and you're going to just know who's the patient and what medication they're going to use. Um, then you're going to check for any contraindications like skin sensitivity. Um, if they if they have rashes or bumps, um, if they um, are allergic to the medication that you're giving them, or they're allergic to metals, anything that would affect the ionto. Um, ask them, have you ever had ionto before? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so. Um, just make sure that they're in a comfortable position, which he is. Make sure that the area is exposed, which will be the arm. Um, uh, you're just going to check capillary refill, the pulse, light touch perception. and any open wounds or rashes that they may have. Um, then you're just going to um, pretty much put, find out your dosage and pretty much you'll just take the needle, you shouldn't go over two, uh, whatever medication it is, and then you're just going to put it on the pad. The pads on there with the medication, and they should be at least one pad width apart. Um, here, I'm just going to do this. And depending on the medication, you'll put the wires like if it's a negative medication, you'll put it um, with a negative wire, or if it's a positive medication, then you'll put it with the positive. Okay, you're going to turn it on, and just the button so far you have S1, which is your channel 1, which we're connected up to, you have um, S2, which is channel 2. You have the P, which is kind of how you set everything up, like you have your dosage, the display. Um, and then you have run time, which you'll turn on when you're starting to run it. And these increase the intensity for channel 1 and channel 2. Um, and so... Anyways, you're going to make sure that the doses that you put on there, dose, the formula we use is dosage equals current times time, and you'll figure out how much you're going to put on there, and you'll adjust accordingly onto the machine. Sorry, H. Um, you're going to tell the patient what Ionto is doing, and what it is doing is it's, it's medication pushing it through the skin without having like an injection or taking an oral um, pill. Um, the ions are going to um, repel whatever the medication is, so if you put a negative charge on it, it will repel a negative medication. If it's got a positive charge, then it's going to repel a positive medication. So you have to make sure that the wires are connected to which medication that they need to be at. Um, you're just going to tell 
the patient what it's going to feel like. It should feel like kind of a tingling, like a kind of a stem, but a little bit of a tingly sensation. And um, it shouldn't be anything painful. You should tell them, um, make sure they're, if it is painful or they start to see any like redness or anything that's out of the ordinary, you should tell them not to do like probably stop the machine and not to do it. Um, um, then once the machine, you'd have the machine stop, you take everything off, um, put everything away, clean off the area, and before the treatment you should have made sure that there was no like there was no hair getting in the way of it or there was lotion so and this is just to clean off the medication that they have on there um, then you're just going just ask them how do they feel every two to three minutes just to make sure that everything nothing's out of the ordinary um, make sure that there are no adverse reactions like the redness they could have a allergic reaction to the medication or they could have burned themselves and gotten blisters um, and last but not least do you have any questions nope